Okay, today I'm going to be doing a fairly comprehensive guide into Sega Saturn emulation using RetroArch. And the reason being for this video is that recently I've had several different people asking me what I recommend for Sega Saturn emulation on Windows PC. And so instead of using standalone emulators, we're going to use RetroArch. So everything's all in one. So what we're going to do first of all then is quickly download a copy of RetroArch. This is the RetroArch website. If I just scroll downwards, I'm going to go down towards download 64 bit. So, this is going to give us a portable version of RetroArch. If you want to install it, then go for the installer version. We're also going to download CHD Man. Now, this program is going to convert your files, your Q and bin files, into one file, which is CHD format. And this is going to save you quite a bit of space. So, that's quite handy if you're running out of hard drive room. So, next up, what we're going to do is open up RetroArch. And this is a fresh install of this. What we're going to do is just scroll down and find the RetroArch.exe. If I right click on it, show more options and we're going to go to send to desktop create shortcut now if i close out a retro watch on my desktop i've now got retro watch which we can open very easily rather than going inside of the retro watch folder each time next thing we're going to do is add some bios files into retro watch here's my bios folder and these are the bios files i'm going to be using for two different cores today so these are the exact same files that i recommend you get into so i'm going to make a copy of each one of these files and I'm going to go into my RetroWatch folder. We got a system folder here. What I'm going to do is paste those BIOS files here. Next thing we're going to do then is take a look at CHD Man. Now if I go into my Sega Saturn games folder, I've got a couple of different games here. I've got Street Fighter the movie which is already in CHD file extension which is great. And we've also got Street Fighter Collection, which is a two-disc game. And as we can see, this game has been in queue files, which are very annoying. So what we're going to do is convert these into CHD file extension. We're going to open up chdman.zip, and inside of here, we have got these files. I'm going to just drag and drop each one of those inside of my Sega Saturn games folder. If I just close that down, next thing we're going to want to do is go to QGDI ISO to CHD.bat. Double left click and we're going to go to run. This is going to open up a terminal and as we can see just there under output CHD, it says Street Fighter Collection Disk 1. What this is doing is automatically finding those Q and bin files. And as we can see back here in the Sega Saturn Games folder, we got Street Fighter Collection Disk 1, which is currently generating. So we're going to just wait a minute for this to do its thing. And as we can see, it's now creating a CHD file of disk 2 automatically. Okay, so once the conversion is totally complete, the terminal automatically closed down like it's just done. What we're going to do is delete the files we no longer need. So I'm going to delete both of those Street Fighter collection folders containing the CHD and bin files. I'm also going to delete CHD man and those files we don't need. So all we've got left is the Street Fighter games, which are all in CHD. What I'm going to do next is drag and drop my Sega Saturn games folder into my RetroArch folder just so everything's neat in one place. What we're going to do next then is open up RetroArch for the first time. Now I'm using an Xbox controller for this. What I'm going to do then is press my D-pad on my controller to go across. If I go down to settings and press right on my D-pad again, I'm going to go down to video and press my A button. If I go down to full screen mode, start in full screen mode, press the A button on my controller. And as we can see, we now got full screen mode. Let's just make a save of this. If I press B button, this is going to allow me to come out of these options. So from main menu, I'm going to scroll down to configuration file and save current configuration by pressing the A button. If I press B to come out, and B again, that's going to bring us back to the left hand panel. What I'm going to do is from main menu, press right on my D-pad. If I press up on my D-pad, go to import content. What we're going to do now is literally import those Sega Saturn games. We're going to go down to manual scan, press A. 
content directory, press A, C, and from here, we're gonna press up on the D-pad, which is gonna bring us straight to the bottom of this list. If I go to users, press A, and we next need to find a system folder. In my case, my system is Jamie. So if I press A on this, now we need to look for the desktop, which is just here. And on desktop, we're gonna find my RetroArch folder. And from here, we should see the Sega Saturn games folder. And here we go. If we press A on this one, I'm gonna go down to scan this directory and press A. And as we can see, this has now mounted that location into place. If I press up on my D-pad and press A on start scan, scan complete. So if I press B on my controller, come out and again, at the bottom left hand side, we can now see Sega Saturn games. Okay, so next up, we of course need to download the chorus themselves in order to play these games through RetroArch. If you're new to RetroArch, just consider chorus being kind of like a micro emulator, which is exclusive to RetroArch. If we go down to online updater, core downloader, press A. And now we need to scroll down until we get to Sega. Okay, so we're now on the Sega Saturn section, and what we're going to do is download Beetle Saturn, if I press A. And as we can see, that's now downloaded, it's got a hashtag next to it to tell us that. We're going to go down one to Yabasanshiro and press A again, and again, that one's now been installed. Press B to come out, and we're going to go down to Sega Saturn games. First of all, we're going to open up Street Fighter the movie. We need to set core association with this, as we've got two of these we just downloaded. I'm going to use Yabasan Shiro for this game. So we're going to open up the game for now by pressing run. You can actually fast forward these games by pressing spacebar. Okay, so a very good feature with using this core, which is of course Yabas and Shiro, is that we can actually improve how the game looks. So what I'm going to do is open up the RetroWatch quick menu by pressing my F1 button on my keyboard. And I'm going to scroll down to shaders. I'm going to put video shaders on. I'm going to drop down to load preset and press A on this. If I go down to shader slang, I've now got several different options. If I go down to CRT, and I've now got a selection of different CRT shaders to use within the game. Let's just check out CRT Cyclone. If I press A and go down to apply changes. If I come out by pressing the B button and go back into the game by pressing quick menu and resume. And I can do this again by going to the same shaders menu. So from quick menu, just remember to go down to shaders. And from here, we can go to load preset, shader slang. And I've got various different shader options to use. This is actually one of my quirky favorite ones. If I go into film and I go into film grain. And again, we're going to go to apply changes. If I come out and back into the game. And as you can see, that's gave us a very grainy film look about it. Okay, so what we're going to do next is just close out of this game. Go to close content. And here we go then. So next up, we're going to be showing you how to use the next core. If we go down to Street Fighter Collection Disc 1, I need to set the core association. So this time I'm going to be using Beetle Saturn for this. So that core has now been set for this particular game. I'm also going to do the same for Disc 2. Again, set core association. Beetle Saturn. Okay, so we're going to open up Street Fighter Collection, and what we're going to do is now go to Run, as we've already set the core association with this. Now, what we're going to do before this game starts is just set the shader options for this. So we're going to go down to shaders again, 
and we're going to go to load preset. We're going to go to shader slang. And again, just like the previous core I used for Street Fighter movie, we can also nowadays use the same option using Beetle, where this wasn't the case years ago. If I go to CRT, I'm going to randomly select Fruit Bun, whatever that is. I'm going to go to Apply Changes. Now, some of you out there might be thinking to yourselves, what's the need of both of these emulators, or rather these cores for Sega Saturn emulation or RetroArch? Well, Yaba Shiro, which I'm using just here for the Street Fighter collection, offers a smoother experience on lower-powered computers and is recommended for Android users too. One of the downsides of Yaba Shiro is that the compatibility isn't as great as what the previous core was that I just used for Street Fighter the movie, which is Beetle Saturn. So really, both of these cores has different features and neither one of them is particularly better than the other. It's almost like a swings and roundabout situation. And I've also selected this particular core for a two disc game as this core actually allows us to swap disc images within the game. So let's say for example the game is asking me for disc 2, all I need to do in order to swap the disc to disc 2 is go into the quick menu and from here if I go to disc control down to load new disc, as you can see just there I've got the option to switch over to disc 2 if disc 1 was asking for it that was. And so just load this up by pressing on disc 2. From quick menu we can also use the save states option so if I go to save states, state slot and we can actually have a thousand saves per game. So what I'm going to do is leave this on zero, I'm going to go down to save state. And to load up my save I'm going to just go down to load state. And just be cautious that if you need to load back a particular game, just make sure that your state slot is on the particular save that you want. And that's it for setting up Sega Saturn through RetroWatch today. Like I said at the start of the video, I've had several people asking me recently what I recommend. And it's for these reasons I recommend RetroWatch. You see, Sega Saturn is one of those systems which has always been a little bit problematic to emulate. So rather than having standalone emulators left, right and centre, one solution and one solution only is RetroWatch. So Yaba Senshiro is essentially better for lower end computers whereas Beetle Saturn it's a little bit more CPU demanding so people running lower end computers might be better off using Yaba Sanshiro. So anyways if you liked today's video hit notification subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro content here on my channel just Jamie. Anyways until next time stay retro.